Sustainability is not a norm. It's a technical impact measurement. It is the future. It's cool and a new wave and a part of nature. It can be challenging and an overwhelming word. Sustainability is many things, but it's not a norm. But why is this so? How can we create an environment where the consideration of sustainability becomes a norm? I've been in business for about four years now, marketing environmental-friendly products, and I own a conscious select store called Unplug. And my biggest challenge was to do with consumers' perception and response. Talking facts was not going to cut it. When you're in your shopping mood, serious information can get boring. People want to know the price and the variety it offers. I remember posting posters of key facts and benefits of my products, and here I thought, wow, everyone needs to know this. Everyone wants to know this. But I was wrong. They were often ignored. Slowly, sustainability started to pick up, and we had the media wanting to interview us as a conscious green brand. And they frequently asked me, what inspired you to take the conscious approach or take the sustainable approach? These questions were strange to me, and suddenly there was all these green labels. Were they asking me, why do I care? This was very important for me in trying to understand my role with my customers. Do they not care anything beyond the price or the aesthetic appeal? Was my message not being heard? Was I the only one in the crowd? Or maybe my message was just not appealing enough. Why does this matter? I then started seeking advice from my peers, and I would get two common responses. The first one would be, be a crusader, be provocative, and be an advocate for change. Stand for something and tell people you're trying to save the world. They would tell me to amplify my impacts and be the expert of a cause. But something about this just didn't completely feel honest to what I represent as a whole, and it was a heavy endeavor. The second opinion would be, make it cool, make it sexy, and make it a thing. And here I thought, would I then need to compromise a few things to make it look and sound cool? So I didn't agree with these two approaches, and it didn't sit well with me. You see, our reality is such that climate change and social issues are undeniably on a rise. We are all affected by it, knowingly and unknowingly. We watch about it, we read about it, we see it. But how are we recalibrating our relationship to sustainable living in such contexts? Are hard facts and advocacy enough to make us change? Or is making green cool and trendy enough to make us change? What influences a change that would truly last and become a norm? So there's a gap between these two approaches that sit on two extreme ends. Let's look at the first one, the advocate. Home of the crusaders and warriors. It's a life dedication towards a cause where you live it and you breathe it. It's a conviction, one with a lot of emotions on a high energy level. But the problem with this is it's not adaptive to differences. It's highly educated, but it's also highly opinionated and it's also a non-inclusive space. We tested a campaign tailored to this target group where we tried to be as technical, detailed, and factual as possible when it came to our benefits and our pro products. And the call to action was to try to save the planet with a purchase. What we found was that the response rate was very low and the appeal was limited. It imparted a heavy feeling upon our customers. Hard facts does not necessarily meet the standards of a shopper that just want a good design and not have to feel guilty about buying or not buying. So then you have your green trend, jumping on the bandwagon while it's buzzworthy. But the problem with this is, it's passive in decision making, it's limited in knowledge, and it's short-lived. So we tested another campaign tailored to this target group where it was a plug-and-play process where we only associated a portion of sustainability by amplifying it through an outerwear, by making it cool and fashionable. Responses were great, but to retain their attention was another question. 
It was almost as if we were contributing to mindlessness. With surface mass appeal truly a sustainable way to make a transformative change to responsible buyers. Where we need to sit is in the middle ground, where our growth is not pressured by the disadvantage of neither extremes. And that's why we created Unplug, to hopefully try to fill in that gap. But before we get there, what is the middle ground? The middle ground is centered, it's steady, present, not loud, but not passive. It does not rely on intensity of emotions to make a decision. You see from the other extreme approaches, you see strong cues that heightens the customer's emotions, leading them to make impulsive decisions. You have the advocate, which is driven by guilt and the need to save the world, which is very unrealistic and a heavy expectation that does not speak to all. Then you have your green trend, which is ever-growing, ever-changing. It's never sustainable to follow a trend. We believe that real growth occurs in the middle ground where your emotions are kept in check and there's room and space to listen to your mind and your intuition. This state is usually quiet and calm in nature, slow in process, middle energy thinking, and steady in actions. It's very much like marriage. Marriage is more than what is portrayed in movies of a happily ever after. Marriage is more than the courting stage or the honeymoon stage. Marriage is more than a feeling. Love is more than a feeling, but rather it is understanding, commitments, and good conduct that fits a bigger purpose and lifestyle. It is ultimately the middle ground way of living. So how do we adopt the middle ground of living when it comes to sustainability? It's actually easier than you think. It all starts with three simple steps. The first one is your intention. Always go back to your whys. Look within before searching outside. At Unplug, we strike a good balance between promoting a design, quality, and brand story and values, leaving room and space for the customers to gain curiosity and to choose without being directed. If they want a good design, we offer that. If they want a sustainable alternative, we offer that too but we also leave room for curiosity for them to ponder upon their whys. Secondly, is openness. Observe and listen. Don't be too quick to conclude or assume, and it's okay to try something new or different. Lastly, transcending labels. You hear all these terms, heavy, heavy terms, being tossed around. Going eco-friendly, going sustainable, zero waste. What does that all really mean? Let's release this, these terms and just go back to being mindful as a start. We were very particular of not wanting to brand Unplug as a sustainable or eco-friendly shop, but a conscious select store, a space where you can find your middle ground. Find your middle ground. Thank you. <laughs>